Hi, I'm Deba Sadenot, one of the writers for the Practical VAT Loose Leaf Service and a regular speaker at FSP business seminars such as the VAT Masterclass Series seminars. One of the many questions the users of the Accounting and Tax Club battle with is how to deal with VAT on intercompany transactions. Is there VAT at all? And if so, who should pay it over and who should claim it? Let's take a look at an example to explain VAT on intercompany transactions. Company A is a holding company and it has, let's say, three subsidiaries. Company B, C and D. Now let us assume all four of these companies have their own VAT number. Each one is registered individually for VAT purposes. Now company A holds the account at the stationers and so at the end of the month let us assume a tax invoice arrives in the name of company A for 10,000 Rand. Okay, the VAT 1,400, total 11,400 Rand. The tax invoice is in the name of company A. So company A claims the input tax of 1,400 Rand. Then they have to determine which portion of this tax invoice was used by which subsidiary. So they determine that company B spent 5,000 Rand on stationery, company C spent 2,500 and company D spent 2,500. Now what company A has to do is they have to on charge or on recover those costs of the stationery spent from its individual subsidiaries. So, they, company A is going to issue a tax invoice to company B for the 5,000 Rand, but they are going to add new VAT at 14%. Company A pays that VAT over to SARS's output tax. Company B can then claim it back as an input tax deduction. So the similar or the same scenario is going to happen between A and C and A and D. Now what is the reason for this? Well the reason is there are two supplies that have taken place here. The first supply was the supply of stationery to company A. The tax invoice which was issued to company A showed 10,000 Rand stationery supplied, 1,400 VAT and the 1,400 VAT company A claimed as an input tax deduction. Once company A on recovers the amounts from its subsidiary, it is now making a new supply for VAT purposes and that is why it now has to charge VAT again on the on recovery of costs. SARS published two written rulings confirming this whole argument and even though the rulings have been withdrawn by SARS, the law hasn't been changed and the legal explanation remains the same. There are three more cost recoveries that work in a similar way like the example I've just explained. These are salaries recovered, costs for petrol or diesel recovered, entertainment costs recovered. If you find yourself in this situation and have never dealt with a VAT correctly or you disagree with me, don't worry. I'll give you the principles of this and go through them with you at the VAT Masterclass. Avoid underpaying SARS today. 10% late penalty fees and additional interest will apply. Simply download the brochure, complete the booking form at the back and send it back to Linnell as soon as possible. Plus, we're offering you a special early bird offer where you can save an additional thousand rand. I'm looking forward to meeting you at this year's VAT Masterclass series.